understand that this test is to see how your respective airlines handle their fueling operations, both from a standpoint of safety and of speed. Oh, that's the Crawford motto. Safety and speed are the reasons we lead. Oh, uh, well, when there's a race, we're in last place. <laughs> are you ready, gentlemen? Crawford is always ready. Triple A? Oh, Triple A, yes. Now, you'll notice they're locked into this arrangement while we have our own independent fueling system. Go! Go! also maintains an immaculate restroom. <laughs> uh, I was so busy thinking about fueling the plane, I forgot to fuel a fueler. <laughs> Ask him if we get credit for pumping 50 gallons a year. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Crawford? Oh, yes, Mr. Henderson. Well, from what I've seen so far, you certainly run a tight airline. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Now, if you'll just board the plane, my son will join you for the simulated mail flight. Yes, ma'am. This is it, Mom. The coup de grace. Had the champagne waiting in the office. And perhaps something a little stronger for Mr. Prentice. After all, the poor man will be checking out the AAA flight. So far, you have single-handedly blown everything. Now you have got to pull this off. Well, why me? I thought we were partners. We are. You do the flying, and I'll do the, the, the pray. <laughs> well, what do you got to worry about? All you got to do is take off, fly off 50 miles, make a U-turn, and come back. That's what I'm worried about. They're taking off and flying and you know, <laughs> Have you got everything? Yeah, I got everything. Don't have worry. Have you got my air sick pills? I accept your airsick pills. I accept your airsick Are you trying to blow the contract? I need the pills. I'm getting queasy already. Well, they're in the chase. Well, get them. I'll get them. No! no! <laughs> okay, you have to go bye-bye. Poor right. Hi. Hi. Oh. Herbert forgot his pills. Oh. Where's Harry? He's getting the car. I lost an inlay and one of his homemade biscuits, and he's rushing me to the dentist. Oh, that's bad. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, there is. Huh? Here, take little Kenny over to Becky and ask her to babysit for a couple of hours. Look, everything she needs is in there. There's a whole written list. Goodbye, Don. Mama's up here. Yeah, but uh, Herbert... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mom, Mommy's gone. I gotta get going, too. Uh, Becky, uh, Mitzi wants you to... Uh, out to lunch? <laughs> She's out to lunch. <laughs> oh, boy. What a time for a guy to have his first baby. 
And just as soon as I'm absolutely convinced that they can get off the ground, I'm going to order a whole fleet of those Airbuses. Well, sounds fine, but don't you think we ought to concentrate on getting this one off the ground? Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Hot stuff. Excuse me. You mean? Wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's a, a little picnic lunch that Harry packed for us. They're trying to get a mail contract, and you're worried about feeding your fat little face? <laughs> Not exactly. We just did. Uh, don't, I'll put it in the cockpit out of the way. Uh, and don't you worry. We'll have you there and back before you can say neither rain nor sleet nor mail nor, nor hail nor uh, to, to, uh, how you played the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Bennett. Thank you, sir. Put it in there. There you go. Right here, Mr. Sit right down. There you go. I'll uh, shut the door. We flew with it open once we all got colds. <laughs> You can look. Don't tell me what to do. I'm the president. Then why does the president have to have this lunch wedged in here with him? Uh, well, uh, because i got to feed it. You've got to feed your lunch? <laughs> your lunch seems to be crying. Uh, well, uh... It's a baby lunch. It's a baby. What is she doing up here with us? <laughs> What's going on in there? Have you got trouble? Something wrong? No, 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 not I'm uh, just trying to clear my ears from plugging up. I got... Ah! <laughs> I don't want to trouble an already troubled area, but could you explain to me what that kid is doing up here with us? <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, you see... Harry never could make a light biscuit, see? Well, now, Mitzi didn't know this. Well, when Becky was out to lunch, there was nothing I could do but bring the baby along. Oh, I've got to lie down. This is the biggest harebrained stunt you have ever pulled. Do you want to blow the mail contract with... Oh, is this any way to ruin an airline? Well, if it's any consolation, it is a male baby. <laughs> Can you burp? Well... <laughs> you the baby! Oh! Hold the wheel a minute! Hey, Gaga! Hey, Gaga! Hey, Gaga! I saw that in the movie! Okay. <laughs> but here, I'll try rocking her a little! rock a bye baby! <laughs> It was me. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mark a triangle. You want to give me a hand? Uh-huh. Which one would you like? Shouldn't you be starting your approach now? Any second now, Mr. Prentiss. Don't worry. Ever takes a hand. Hand me the powder. <laughs> it isn't as hard as I thought it was, huh? All right. Look. Help! What in the name of heaven are you... Huh? Help! What's going on? I'm snow blinded. Help me! What is, is that who I think it is? What is going on? Oh, here? that's who I think it is. <laughs> Will somebody hand me a towel that baby isn't plane trained yet? A baby? Isn't that a little bit unorthodox? Well, we didn't ask him about his religion. Maybe we'd better explain. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, you see, Harry never could make a light biscuit. Well, Mitzi didn't know this, so when Becky was off duty... How worry, Mr. Prentice. If we get that mail contract, I'm going to put him in a box and send him to the dead letter office. A little pie in the nursery, please. <laughs> it works good now. Shouldn't you be making a descent to land? Oh, uh, we are. You can't be. You're going 200 miles an hour. We are? We are. It's too fast. But I can't, I can't pull the throttles up. Uh, oh, Kenny's pacifier stuck down in there. What are you going to do now? Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, no, no. You, I know. I got it. It's easy. Good idea. What is it? Pass me the bottle. Pass him the bottle. Stop the bottle. I don't know what he's going to do about the baby. What is he going to do about us? 
was. Well, now, it's not good to let him cry like this. It's not good to go through a hangar at 200 miles an hour, is it? Well, now, wait a minute. Let me get him settled first. All right. Pass it to the bottle. Pass it to the bottle. Hold it's on. our only chance. She can only think of one thing at a time. Oh. Oops. Uh. Uh. The, uh, uh. These things happen. How are you? It's going to live. You gotta do something quick. Yeah, you're right. Uh, just reach forward and turn the key off. Am I close? Yeah, there you go. There you go. See? Nothing to it. Here, I'll just glide her in. <laughs> Well, five minutes late on the mail run. We're right on time for the feeding. I don't know if that counts anything. <laughs> Don't you worry. He got special handling from the post office oh. department. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Speaking of the post office department, I see that the AAA is a little late on the simulated mail run. And we came in 15 minutes ahead of schedule. I guess that means we'll get the new contract, right? Mr. Crawford, speed is only one of the criteria used in awarding these new routes. The department places a very high value on adaptability and ingenuity. And quite frankly... This is the most ingenious pilot that I've ever flown with. It is? <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you realize that he fed a baby, changed its diaper, rocked it back to sleep? And during all this, with his co-pilot temporarily blinded, he kept his aircraft absolutely on course. Oh, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. When they made this boy, they, they threw away the mold. What Mr. Prentice means is that anybody who can react as he did in an emergency can always be dependent upon to get the mail through. We'll see you inside. Wait, you mean they're gonna... We're not gonna get... Mother, aren't you going to do something? Of course, Ronald. You're fired as my son. <laughs> Come on. Now, don't you worry. Maybe she'll hire you back as a second cousin. 